Hello and welcome to Basic Arithmetic Without a Calculator. I'm Elizabeth Johnson and this is Lesson 7, Converting Percentages to Decimals to Fractions. We're going to start with the easiest of these operations and that is converting decimals into percentages. And one of the things that's so easy about it is that there's really not much math involved at all. You simply move the decimal point two places to the right and then add a percentage symbol. Remember, when we do that, we'll drop everything off from the front of our decimal. So now we've got 75%. It's as easy as that. When you have a digit that doesn't have any more numbers to the right of it, you still move the decimal one, two places to the right and fill in any empty spaces with zeros. So in this case, 0 0.3 becomes 30%. Now let's try the reverse operation. In this case, we're going to convert percentages to decimals. So it's just exactly the opposite. You're going to take the percentage sign off, and you're going to move your decimal two places to the left. Now, when you have a situation like this whole number 8, and it doesn't have a decimal point, remember it is assumed that any whole number has a decimal point just to the right of it. So we'll put that in now. Okay, we're able to move this decimal now two places to the left, and any empty spaces get filled in with a zero. And another zero will go to the beginning of it, because if there is no whole number in a decimal, we simply fill it in with a zero. 0 0.08 is the decimal version of 8%. Okay, in this case, we have a whole number. And it's just as simple when you have a whole number. You move the decimal two places to the left, fill in any empty spaces with a zero, and then you can write out your decimal, 0 0.8. One, three, five. Very simple process. Now, let's put together all three of the skills. So when you learned in the previous video about turning fractions into decimals, and the one you learned in this video. Okay, we'll start out with our fraction. We've got one quarter, or one fourth. And so what we're going to do is, we're going to rewrite it. and we're going to turn it into a decimal. To turn one-fourth into a decimal, you simply divide the bottom number into the top number. And remember, if the top number is smaller than the bottom number, you can put a decimal and you can put a couple of zeros to help make your division easier. Four does not go into one, so I'll put a zero above the one. And I'll also carry the decimal up. There's going to be a remainder of 1, which turns this unit into 10. 4 goes into 10 twice with a remainder of 2, turning this 0 into 20. I'm going to divide 4 into 20, and I get 5. So 0 0.25 is the decimal version of 1 quarter, 0 0.25. And as we just learned, all I have to do now is move my decimal two places to the right and put a percentage sign, and then I can get my percentage as well. So it's 25%. Well, let's do the next one together. Decimal is 0 0.05. And I've got to do two things to it. I've got to turn it into a percentage, and I've got to turn it into a fraction. So to turn it into a percentage is easier. I simply move this decimal two places to the right, and there is my percentage. But to turn it into a fraction is a little bit more complicated. Remember, we put the 0 0.05 over the number 1. And then we move the decimal as far as it will go to the right, and we count how many places. In this case, it goes 1 two times before it gets to the right. So if I move the top decimal two places to the right, I have to do the same to the bottom. So if there's nothing there, I'll have to fill it with zeros. One, two zeros. So my fraction is, in fact, 5 over 100. 
And the final step to that will be to simplify that fraction. I'm going to simplify it by dividing the top by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And I'll divide the bottom by 5. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So my fraction is 1 20th. Okay, only one left to do. 15%. Well, 15%, if I took that decimal and moved it two places to the left, I would end up with 0 0.15 as a decimal. 0 0.15. Now to turn it into a fraction, I simply put 0 0.15 over the number 1, move the decimal two places over, move the bottom decimal two places over, fill in the empty spots with zeros, and then I end up with a fraction which is 15 over 100. And again, this fraction can be simplified. 15 over 100 can be divided on the top by 5 and on the bottom by 5. 15 can be divided by 5 three times. And 100 is divided by 5 20 times. So I end up with a fraction of 3 twentieths. OK, you're on your way. Have a go at your exercise problems. Good luck with it. And I'll see you back in the next video.